Way over the rainbow Way up high There's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby Well, some way over the rainbow Skies are blue And the dreams that you dare to dream Really do come true Someday I wish upon a star And wake up where the clouds are far behind me Where well, trouble melts like lemon drops Way above the chimney tops That's where you'll find me Somewhere over the rainbow Bluebirds fly Birds fly over the rainbow Why then, oh, why can't I? everybody that's my opening number thank you so very much thank you for joining me i'm julian Fleischer, the host of 44 charlton how are you you're right he does have a big mustache he's going to want to play the trivia game later just make sure he does that welcome to our final episode of the season i'm sad to report however it is our gay pride edition ladies and gentlemen yes who is gay yeah, put him up. who is not gay? Weird, weird, weird. I don't know how to interpret any of that. I want you to find the, the nearest person of the same sex right now and give them a deep, passionate kiss on the mouth. Go, right now. I will, yeah, there you go. Go. I'm not kidding. You are gay for the next hour and 20 minutes. Although the way this show usually goes, it'll be about an hour and 50 minutes. Don't worry, you can be straight again when you leave. But for tonight, please indulge me and the whole, uh, the whole lot of us in making yourself as gay as you possibly can. And when I say gay, of course, that's just a friendly, loving umbrella term. That also includes the, the, the L's and the B's and the T's and the Q's and the I's. All of those. What is the I for? Intolerant? Intersex. Oh, intersex. See, I thought it was intolerant, which I totally am. I'm intolerant of lactose, gluten, bread, LGB, Trump, and quinoa. I am LGBTQ intolerant. Here's my favorite. I would like to call you by your sexual name, but I don't really know what it is. Do you prefer him, her, they, us? Me, mine. <laughs> Tonight, it's it's really whatever you want, Julia. Oh, it is? Finally. You don't want to know what I want. This is Cody Owen Stein, ladies and gentlemen. The musical director of the 44 Child Towns. Frequent visitors to our little island of misfit toys will recognize Ben Ahrens from many of our episodes. And I always like to do this whenever I can, point out someone who's never been on the stage before and never even rehearsed, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sean Murphy. Have you ever seen a band with bluer eyes in your life? Oh my God. It's the Whitey McMites, the Whitey McWhites playing for you tonight. Anyway, listen, we don't have much time. We have a big show. I'd like to thank you all so very much for joining us. I'm your host. I'm gonna get you through this night. It's a variety show. So we will be shifting gears and changing directions. But if you hold fast to me, I will take you there, I promise. All right? Ready to go? One, a two, a one, two, three. Someday I wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. You sound good. Where trouble smell like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you find me somewhere over the rainbow fly that flag skies are blue and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true if happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow why oh you want to sing with me why? harmony can't. one two 
One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. Yes, the 44 Charles House. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. First up on our cavalcade of super gay stars, ladies and gentlemen, we, uh, we consider this a coup here at 44 Charlton. He is a writer for Saturday Night Live. He's a cast member of Comedy Central's upcoming Aquafina. And along with Matt Rogers, he hosts the podcast Las Culturistas. He's appeared on Broad City, High Maintenance, and Two Dope Queens. Please give a warm and very gay welcome to Mr. Bowen Yang. Thank you, Julian. Hi, how's everyone doing tonight? Good. I don't know. I'm actually not going to put this in this. Wow. Um, that's queering the space. Um, <laughs> Uh, are we all doing okay now that Julian's facilitated reverse conversion therapy on you all? Okay, cool. Um, hi, my name is Bowen. Um, in Mandarin, it used to mean blog content. I, whoa, I fucked that up. In Mandarin, it used to mean scholar. and Now it means blog content. Um, which I find fitting because you can only take advantage of me if you know WordPress. Um, okay. Um, wow, I was just at a Chinese restaurant earlier. Um, it was, a, it was a, like a chic Chinese restaurant. The hostess was white. And um, <laughs> there was this really cool cocktail program. And one of the cocktails on the menu was called a Shanghai Mule. Isn't that cute? It's like a Moscow Mule, but like slightly less homophobic. And um, I was like, oh, I identify as a Shanghai Mule too because I am also Chinese and I will not reproduce. Um, so anyway, um, I was like, oh, representation matters. Anyway, um, it's so good to be back in New York. I was touring for a bit and um, what I realized is every other city in America is the escape room capital of the world. <laughs> They have them everywhere. And actually, I would consider, like, you know how people call it, like, like they call them flyover states. I would consider the area between LA and New York one giant escape room. <laughs> You're just trying to get out. Um, but I was staying in a lot of hotels, and I, I play this fun game at hotels now um, that I didn't before, but now uh, I play this game. It's called, Is This Water Bottle Free? Um, the answer is no, usually, and um, I don't know. It's great, I, but now I've now I'm back in New York, and now uh, I've been here 11 years, and I, I still like discover new places, which I think is cool. You can't really do that in a, in a lot of other cities for as long as um, you live there. Uh, I've discovered this hidden gem. It's called Central Park. <laughs> Do you guys do you guys know about Central Park? It's it's amazing. I feel like if no truly, if you live below 42nd Street, you forget that it's there, right? Yes. No. Am I the only one? Okay. Because I walked in the other day and I was like, oh my god, do people know about this? I was I was very Christopher Columbus about it. I was like, I have to tell everyone I discovered this place. Um, it's it was it's great. It's great. Um, but um, I. Uh, I'm glad to be back in New York. And New York is one of those weird cities, though, where um, people here just don't go to the doctor, right? <laughs> I don't go to the doctor anymore. It used to be, like, I've been here for a while. Um, I went to school here. I went to school at a real estate firm called NYU. <laughs> and um, I majored in chemistry there. And uh, it used to be that you would just go in to the health center and, like, grab a bowl of condoms and leave, and it was great. Now... I don't, my insurance is weird, and so I think for most people uh, in New York, you, it's, it's just the easiest solution is to go to like a city MD. Do people know what city MD is? Great, for people who don't know what city MD is, city MD is um, a chain of fast casual painkiller restaurant. <laughs> um, and they're amazing. What they do is they go into a bodega and they gut it. Um, <laughs> 
and then they, they put up like iPad stands and it's great. They keep the same staff actually. <laughs> I got a strep test from a cat once. It was great. And, um, but yeah, I, I, I just don't go anymore. Um, and it, it's, it's sad, but um, I, it's, it's just like one of those weird quirks in the city. I, I, I also feel like, um, like, like, like people just, when, especially when you change careers here, it's bizarre. Like I studied chemistry in, in college and now I do this and, um, like I'll go out on auditions for uh, stuff where the breakdown says uh, chubby Asian anesthesiologist and my agents will be like, go in for this. Um, I think that's just like lazy typecasting because I think we can all agree as a room that my type is pencil thin white dermatologist. <laughs> yes, no, okay, well anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, it's weird, I didn't study this thing. I, I didn't study this stuff, I, you know, I went to school at a celebrity daycare center called NYU and it's it's just like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of out of my element anyway um wow let's see I just went to therapy today too or is there is anyone in therapy are people in therapy great therapy's cool therapy's like if um astrology went to class on time um and astrology is like uh if Confucius studied abroad um <laughs> Do people, are people into astrology here? You're a queer, you're into astrology. Okay, so what does it mean? It's Gemini season now, is it still Gemini season? Uh, my moon is in Gemini, does that mean I'm a whore in the ass or something? What does that mean? I don't know what any of this means. Can, can someone just shout out like what your like armchair assess assessment of me is? Yes. Uh-huh, yes. That's it? Wait, so when it's your season, it just means like you have a full calendar, like, and my soul. I did just go through a move, um, and I bought a bunch of new furniture. I went into Target the other day. I wore a solid red T-shirt, and everyone was obsessed with me. Um, and then today I went into Muji, and I decided to be Asian, and everyone was obsessed with me. Um. Yeah, I have been going through a lot. I have been going through a lot. Conver and then therapy is also this fun sort of arc for me too. I actually did go, I actually was in conversion therapy when I first came out. My parents were like, mm-mm, <laughs> you gotta go to this place. And um, you know, it's, it's like, I won't get into it. It's, it's, it's sad, but uh, you know, it was, it was traumatic and awful and unnecessary, but ultimately fine. Like that's, it, it was like Game of Thrones. It was like the whole arc of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Like, why are we going through this? Oh, okay, the, uh, it ended okay, all right, that's fine. Uh, I, I survived. Um, but anyway, conver conversion therapy was, was okay. It was okay. Um, anyone else been through conversion therapy? <laughs> no? Um, God, pride, pride, you guys. Pride month, everyone says, this year especially, no cops at Pride, no corporations at Pride. I'm gonna do them one better and say, no people at Pride. <laughs> I think we should all just stay home and like have like a Peloton bike situation <laughs> where we all just sit in a chair with a screen and watch like a slideshow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I just, that was, that was just my weird little pitch to y'all. Um, but Pride is fun. Um, July is what? July is gay wrath. August is gay envy. Um, September is gay gluttony. October is gay, uh, mm, what am I missing? Uh, sloth. Um, November is, I already said gluttony, Thanksgiving, no, November is gay gluttony because of Thanksgiving. And then December is gay greed because you get gifts. So then I swapped some stuff out. We'll figure this out later. I'm just workshopping the schedule with you guys right now. Um, but, for, but for the rest of the calendar you're moving forward, it's all the gay months. Congrats, we made it. Um, I would like to present and share with you all a cautionary tale. Um, a cautionary tale with the moral being uh, to have sex with someone outside of your ethnicity, okay? Um, I will use myself, I will place myself as the protagonist in this cautionary tale. I, 
um, a couple years ago was dealing with this very long dry spell, three years without having sex with anybody of any kind. I was a gay man who could donate blood. <laughs> so... I was just really thirsty. I was like, I, I have all my animal traps laid out and... Um, <laughs> This Taiwanese man who's visiting on business messages me. Uh, you know, we have our little exchange. Deal is sealed. I'm on my way to his hotel. Um, I get there, I knock on his door. He um, answers. He, there's a little bit of a language barrier. Put a pin in that, we'll get to it later. Um, and then we start going for it. And then he stops me and he goes, do you have poppers? Do people know what poppers are? <laughs> yes, okay, for people who don't, poppers are, um, alkyl nitrites, they vasodilate you, they facilitate anal sex. I know this because I majored in chemistry at a multi-complex headshot studio called NYU. <laughs> uh, um, I said, no, I don't, do you? And he says, no, but I have something that will make you feel good. So he goes over to his duffel bag, takes out a dop kit, takes out a glass pipe and a dime bag with crystalline flakes in it. He walks over to me, I, this is out of an after-school special. I don't know what this drug is. And um, he goes, here, smoke this. I go, what is this? He goes, and this is where the language barrier comes back. I don't know what you guys call this in English. So then I ask him, is it opium? And he says, what's opium? Which makes me feel guilty for thinking a Taiwanese man would carry opium. <laughs> Um, so out of that guilt, I take a hit, <laughs> smoke a little hit from the bulb, and um, then we proceed to have amazing aerobic seven-hour sex. We're jumping around, we're moving around furniture, it's great. <laughs> and then afterwards, post-coitus, we're in bed, and I was like, I feel great, what was that stuff? And now he finally starts to rummage. He's like, ooh, okay, I think, you, I think people here call it tea, um, which did not ring any bells for me. I said, no, do you know what else that's called? He goes, oh, um, Tina. And I was like, I still don't know what that means. And then he starts to, he starts to, oh, and then it clicks. He goes, Christina. And at that point, I was like, oh, Christina Crystal got it. And I asked him, was it meth? And he says, oh, meth. And it was like the worst aha moment, because in my brain, methed up, it sounded like, oh, meth! <laughs> um, and then all of a sudden, that hotel room became its own escape room. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Um, don't have sex with people your own ethnicity this pride, or just going forward this year, or else you'll do meth on accident. Um, yeah, and you know what? Just like on like a general note with sex, um, I think uh, if everyone could be at my level sexually, that would be great. And by that I mean. Um, you should just kind of match me sexually in that um, sex for me is like when Netflix releases movies in theaters, like r what they did with Roma. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Um, where it's like, I know I should leave the house and experience this with other people, but if I can just get it on my computer and take care of it in my own bed, I'm just gonna do that. Thanks so much, guys! My name is Bo and yeah! Bowen, Bowen, come, come over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bowen Yang, ladies and gentlemen. Don't Thank run away. You. Come over here and over join there? me. Over there? Great, yeah. great, great. I had, yes. had no idea what I was doing. In Uncle Julian's chamber of chat. Wow. Hi, Uncle Julian. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. How are you? I'm good. Good to that see you. That was great. Thank you. That was great. That was a real, that you were right. It was a tight 10. It was I think a tight was, 10. I think it was like 10 exactly. There you go. Congratulations. Thank That's you. a feat within and of itself. Would you like a, a sip of bourbon now that you've done your set? I would love a sip of bourbon. I'm not familiar with Elijah Craig. Oh, he's um, an old friend of mine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Elijah and I go back all the way to college. <laughs> He's a real New England chap. You guys went to Oral Roberts University. Oh, yeah. Well, no, he went to Anal Roberts and Anal then uh, Roberts. transferred over. Uh-huh. You know how it is. Yes. 
Um, that was fabulous. Thanks. Now, are, do you do stand up typically? Not I think really. of you more as a, a writer. Yeah, I don't really do that um, as much as I should. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. Can we have a round of applause? I feel like. Thank you. I think you definitely should do more of that. Thank it's, you. it's exquisite. And, um, and all of it rang all sorts of weird, uncomfortable bells for me. Yes. Yeah. I met Ooh. that guy, the, the Taiwanese did? guy. Great. I did, yeah. What did, what did you guys do? Oh, Pad Thai. Uh-huh. Pad yeah, Thai. No, yeah, I yeah, have yeah. no idea what we know. <laughs> Just kidding. I, now I feel horrible no. and racist, but hey. happy pride to you. Happy pride. What are you What are you planning to do for gay pride? I, um, oh, God, I don't, I, it's, it's this whole, <laughs> Isn't like. Isn't the worst? Pride is terrible. Pride yeah. is, um, no, pride is great. It's just, it's been a month and it's been a week already. Like, it's, it's only been a month, it's only been a week and there's, a, been a month's worth of things that have happened. Wait, say that one more time. So, what a Pride Month this week has been. I oh, believe. there you go. Yeah. Tobin Lowe, who works at WNYC, also echoed those same feelings. Oh, that same. Is thought. he here, by the way? Is Tobin here? No. Okay. You know that faggot has not come to this show once. Ah, that <laughs> stupid faggot. I am really angry with him. <laughs> uh, have a word, will you? Yes. You guys have I, like a special. Yes. Yeah, we. Yeah, we'll get Pad Thai. Are you gonna? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Will you be marching in the in the parade? I'm and and be, if so, which one? I'm gonna be in the. I, I will try to go to all the parades. Um, I know there's like the no there's like the no cops one, right. which sounds cool. I would love to go to that. And then I'm for the for the cop heavy pride. <laughs> um, I'll be I'll be at the grandstand. I'll be like sort of announcing the floats as they come by. Um, I don't know what the cross streets are, but if you're if you're there, are you really? You're, yeah, you're like uh-huh. the grand marshal. No, 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 no. Grand marshal is like you get your own float. You get your own float, and you're like. You know, you like you, you cured gay meningitis or something. Like you're an amazing person, <laughs> but um, but the but the grandstand is just the stage where they have people just sort of yelling and shouting. That's super cool. So yeah. if I come over there, will you not pretend not to know me? I've, Julian, yes. You're like Bowen, you, Bowen, Bowen, Bowen. Let me yes, up on the yes, grandstand. Yes, of course, of course, All right, of course, great. If you wear you the suit. You are a doll. Thanks. I don't know what all those people were talking about. It's so. <laughs> So uh, nice to have you. I really, you, I Julian. really appreciate that you came down and spent this Thanks time with us. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. Everybody. Take your drink. Take your drink. Uh, Bo and Yang. My next guest, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it'll be interesting for me to try to talk about him because, as some of you who've been here before know, a lot of the times I've never met our guest before, and once in a while, uh, they're uh, someone I know or have spent time with. Um, in the case of my next guest, this is someone I not only that I know, but whom I revere. Uh, someone I've, uh, I, 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 when you come to New York as a kid, when you get off that bus with the bag and the, and the buck and the, and, the, and the book under your arm, it's, it's from Annie, right? Three books, two bags, one me. Hey, lady. <laughs> you think I'm gonna meet extraordinary people. That's why I'm coming here. I'm coming to this island of misfit toys to find the other weirdos and freaks and hopefully some geniuses along the way. And so this was someone that I revere and I got to meet and got to work with and eventually I got to call him a, a buddy, a friend. I mean, that's what I call him. I don't know what he calls me. Um, so it's, I'm very moved to be able to introduce to you someone I'm, I'm, I wanna share with you from the bottom of my heart. He's a singer, he's a songwriter, he's a multi-instrumentalist, he's a producer. One of his records, 69 Love Songs, which he made with his band Magnetic Fields, was called one of the greatest fi 500 records of all time by Rolling Stone. I put it way up higher than that. He's written music for the adventures of Pete and Pete for the, mu for the movie Pieces of April. His, his, his output is, it's, I can't put it all on several cards. Uh, he also wrote a musical that I was in called Coraline, which was one of the most painful experiences of my life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together quietly because uh, he's very sensitive in the ear area for Stephen Merritt. Thank you. This is called When My Boy Walks Down the Street. Grand pianos crash together When my boy walks down the street There are whole new kinds of weather When he walks with his new beats Everyone sings hallelujah When my boy walks down the street 
Life just kind of dances through ya From your smile down to your feet Amazing, he's a whole new form of life Blue eyes blazing and he's going to be my wife The world does the hula hula When my boy walks down the street Everyone thinks he's Petula So big and yet so petite Butterflies turn into people When my boy walks down the street Maybe he should be illegal He just makes life too complete Amazing, he's a whole new form of life Blue eyes blazing And he's going to be my wife Shadows of echoes of memories Oh, things that he brings that he found in the sea Oh, shadows of echoes of memories of songs Oh, how could he know that it won't be long? Grand pianos crash together When my boy walks down the street There are whole new kinds of weather When he walks with his new beat Oh, everyone sings hallelujah When my boy walks down the street Life just kind of dances through you From your smile down to your feet Stephen Merritt, ladies and gentlemen. You Julian never... Fleischer, ladies and oh, gentlemen. Oh, don't even, don't even. I love how your songs never have buttons on them. They just end. Like, ooh, it's over, that's it. Buttons? <laughs> yeah, I don't have buttons. I have snaps. And lots of them. Thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, thank you for having me. Oh, don't be silly. It's my pleasure. I feel honored to have you. Anytime I get to spend time with you, you know, if it's here or, or drinking, uh, what is it, Remy Martin? What is your drink again? Pierre Ferrand. <laughs> At the Nowhere Bar or, uh, or some or other yeah, little gay tavern. Or the office, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> It's shall always we, a good time for me. Shall we perform Andrew in drag? Oh, yes, I think we shall. All oh, right. That sounds like my cue to stop talking. So I'm going to be your backup singer, so I'll go behind you. I'm super excited. I love back this song. Backup. Okay. Yeah, backup. I'm backing. Back. I, I got your back, Stephen Merritt. <laughs> right. Oh Here we go. <clears throat> A pity she does not exist, a shame he's not a fag The only girl I ever loved was Andrew in and drag There is no hope of love for me, from here on I go stag The only girl I'll ever love is Andrew in and drag Andrew in and drag Andrew in and drag Andrew in and drag Just thought it might be funny to see Andrew and drag The moment he walked on that stage my tail began to wag Wag like a little wiener dog for Andrew and drag Andrew and drag Andrew and drag Andrew and drag I've always been a ladies' man, and I don't have 
to brag But I become a mama's boy for Andrew and Drag I'd sign away my trust fund, I would even sell the jack If I could spend my misspent youth with Andrew and Drag Andrew and Drag Andrew and Drag Andrew and Drag So stick him in a dress and he's the only boy I'd shag The only boy I'd anything is Andrew and Drag I'll never see that girl again, he did it as a gag I'll pine away forevermore for Andrew and Drag Steven Do you want some water? Okay. Uh, I do love that song. I remember when it came out. It was after we had met and I felt very special that I got to say that I knew you. Um, thank you for letting me sing back up. I didn't fuck it up. No, no, why would you? <laughs> because you told me it was likely that I would. Or that people often do. Well, there's the missing chorus at the end. Right, that exactly. You right. expect that uh, sometimes yeah. unsuspecting background vocalists <laughs> say, Andrew and ooh. Ooh, Andrew and yikes. Yeah. Um, so, uh, this, you're going to do our third song for us. I'm grateful for that. Uh, and this regards uh, a person with whom uh, this anniversary is often associated. St. Judy. St. Judy, that's right. It's St. Judy's Day. That's yes. right. Yes. 50 years ago today, we lost Our Lady of the Sexual Revolution. As they say, Lily Law never should have fucked with us the night that Judy died. And this is a tune about that moment, am I right? Yes. Anything else we should say? You, you probably just want to sing it. I'm scared of you. I'm going to go back here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to stand back here and back Let's you up again. Let's see. Um, Do you need help with the page uh, turn? I'll begin at the top. No, no, I, I, I have specially adapted the arrangement so that the page turn can happen with minimal disturbance. I should never. <laughs> Understood, yes. <laughs> the first brick the drag king threw To draw blood from the boys in blue Said here lies Judy Garland on it It flew through historic air Even Taylor Mead was there and Allen Ginsberg wrote a sonnet One day after the funeral Stones flew over the stone wall Judy Garland Halfway through her tell-all memoirs Who flew up into the stars Judy Garland, Judy Garland set us free Set us free. We tried to drive to Woodstock, but our little blue bug couldn't cut through that last hundred miles of traffic. Love still dared not to speak in Lane Erotique. Je t'aime was banned as pornographic. So put those feather boas on, drink too much wine, and celebrate the revolution of 69. Cause life-size life never was enough, who called reality's bluff Judy Garland? Patron saint or victim of love, let's try none of the above. Judy Garland, Judy Garland, Judy Garland set, us set us free. Judy Garland set us free. Some say it's a coincidence, no relation, as if she didn't die for us, her love nation. Halfway through 1969 Who joined Heaven's conga line Judy Garland 
sick and tired of being alive. She flew back to Rajo 5. Judy Garland, Judy Garland set us free. Judy Garland set us free. Judy Garland set us free. So be free with me. Judy Garland set us free. Judy Garland set us free. Stephen Merritt, super fast but super quiet. Ready? Oh, yeah. That's how you show your appreciation. Thank you so much for making my gay pride personally, and I'm certain many of our audience members, this is Stephen Merritt, the one and only. Clap, but quietly. It's very difficult to do, but if you clap very quickly and very quietly, you'll do it. Thank you so much. That was very important to me. I hope it was important to you too. He's basically the greatest songwriter writing songs today, and we're very lucky to have him here tonight. Thank you so much. Now you can clap super loud because he's out of the room. Yay! Release it. Release it all. Release it all. It's very difficult to do. So uh, it's early in September. It's just the seventh of the month, and so we're not really in the heart of Pride. We're not deep inside the, uh, the Holy of Holies of this month. But uh, 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 June 7th is, in fact, a pretty important day for someone. It is the birthday of our Vice President. So I thought we might celebrate by singing the absolute worst version of Happy Birthday we could ever come up with. So everybody choose your own key. Make it a minor key. Choose your own tempo. Think of how mad it would make him to know that public radio was broadcasting a happy birthday song to him and make it really hurt, ladies and gentlemen. This is for our vice president. Are you ready? Happy Mike for him. Oh, Mike Hotpants, thank you so much for rescuing us. Here is a microphone for you. Look at you. You look sexier than ever. Thank you. Happy birthday, Mike Hotpants. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So tell me about how your year has been. You were here about a year ago. How's it been? It has been super crazy. It uh, has been super a crazy. A lot of fundraising. You got just a little bit oh, of feather, little feather action. Yeah. Oh. Feather. And there you Woo. go. Oh, yeah. All right. You look good. Uh, yeah, it's been crazy. A lot of fundraising uh, for Trevor Project, Planned Parenthood, International Refugee Assistance Project, <laughs> Natural Resources Defense Council, Every Time for Gun Safety, all the things that Mike Pence hates. If you... <laughs> If you are wondering, ladies and gentlemen, what it looks like to truly devote your life to resistance, you're looking at it right here. I, I love you so much. You know this. We've been friends for all, what, for 30 years or something? Yeah. Right? 20, 20, 20, 30 years? 20, yeah. Eh, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, take a few. and we always wondered when you would find your path. <laughs> <laughs> My path found me, apparently. Yeah, it really did. So for people who aren't familiar with the Mike Hot Pence character, can you just give us a, a brief uh, explanation of what the fuck? Uh, yes, uh, I was born in 1965, and 50 years went by, and I ended up looking like Mike Pence. <laughs> That's the short version. Uh, and then I decided to use that genetic mutation for good instead of evil. Uh, and uh, right after the election, uh, in November of 2016, I started getting out uh, into public spaces, uh, Times Square, Union Square, uh, Brooklyn Green Market, and collecting money for organizations that support causes and communities uh, that are especially vulnerable under the Trump-Pence administration, which is a long effing list. Yes. Yeah. God, I am so great. I mean, please clap very loudly for that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. And, drum roll, uh, as of today, I passed the $44,000 mark. Holy shit. Yeah. 
literally like an hour ago. Just so you understand, while most of us are at home screaming into our computers, this gentleman is out on the street with a jug, dressed as Mike <laughs> Hotpence, looking a protein, spectacular. A recycle, because I believe in recycling. This is a, a protein jug. With a, a and you have personally raised $44,000 to resist what is happening in our country right now. I just can't say enough about that. Happy Gay Pride, Mike Hotpence. Yes, yes. And I think there's a possibility you'll be seen out on the sidewalk afterwards yes. with this jug. And I hope yeah, I like shaking my can on the street, so <laughs> I will be doing that. But uh, we've asked time. you here to do something you don't typically do, which is play a trivia game with us. Or maybe you do do that. Maybe that's I have done that before. Okay. So what, we, what we'd like to do here at 44 Charlton, as I think you know, is play an occasional game, uh, something pursuant to a subject close to our hearts. Tonight's game is called Gaze of Our Lives, <laughs> New York <laughs> Trivia, ladies and gentlemen. Now, um, we've discovered that asking people to come up on the stage to volunteer to play the game is virtually impossible. Yes, They're I've just... seen the show before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> Happy Pride! Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you can't argue with the truth. So what I've asked you here to do is to go into the audience with me and find participants. Grab someone by the throat! Okay. And make them play this fucking game. How many do we need? Um, you know what? You just go find someone, and I'll go find someone. Uh, you go over that way. I'll go over this way. Who's we'll going to play? find people who want to play a play? game of Don't be shy. Trivia. I'm going to start with this fellow here. If I here. can get out into Times Square in my short shorts, somebody can be brave enough to come out on this stage. Just come on. grab someone. Don't ask them. Just take come them. Come on. Just take them. Come here. Come with who's, me. Who's brave come enough come to make here. eye contact? Come here. And when you find them, just bring them up on the stage. Yeah. No, he's straight. No straight come people. On. No straight people. Oh, women are okay. <laughs> women are okay. Come on, Geraldine. Okay. Hey, fella. What's your name? Ian. I'm also. I'm from Indiana, so I'm embarrassed of you know. Oh. It's tough stuff. It's tough stuff. I'm sorry. And who's this lovely lady? This is. Geraldine. Geraldine. Where's Geraldine from? Where's Geraldine from? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, ask this. her. Ask Geraldine. <laughs> Geraldine, where are you from? Originally New Jersey. All right. Uh, Geraldine, are, uh, are you ready to play some gay New York trivia? <laughs> as ready as I'll ever be. All right, good. Grab your contestant by the arm and let's just see what happens, shall we? So we're going to ask you a couple of questions, and when you think you know the answer, just raise your hand real quick. Are you ready? Early in its history, Lily Law, Alice Blue Gown, or Betty Badge were code names for what type of unwanted visitors to the Stonewall Inn? Oh, Geraldine. Geraldine. Wow! Yes. What? You are gay, right? You're not gay? Oh, sit down. Go on. I'm just kidding. I'm, just kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. I need a homosexual. Where's a homosexual? Raise your hand, please. You, the tall guy right there. Come on. Come on. You know these answers. I can tell by the look on your face. Come here. You have a very gay mustache. <laughs> he was stash an undercover gay. gay. <laughs> exactly. Oh my God, he's like that guy from Cruising. You're fired. All right, uh, what's your name, handsome? Uh, Brian. Hi, Brian, where are you from? Uh, Maryland. Oh my God, Mar I'm from Maryland. Oh, Fuck, that's so cool. Uh, and how long have you been in New York? You're shaking, it's okay, we're gonna be okay. I know, it's showbiz, it's showbiz, and it's also hot as a nun see. so what's, uh, how long have you been in New York? Oh, uh... It's taking too long, Brian, you've got to <laughs> answer these questions quickly. Let's do the next question, hold my hand. Uh, why don't you read this one, Mike Hotpence? Sure. Earl Hall, the venue for the first student gay group in America, is located on what New York City college campus? She was first, Brian, you're slow. All man. right, Geraldine. Columbia? Oh my God, she got it right! Wow! <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, you're an ally. I like that. Yeah. Yes, for allies. Let's keep them. All right. So far, it's 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 two two Geraldine to uh, Geraldine Geraldine. two, and then the world zero. All right, <laughs> let's do another one. Here we go. What's the name of WNYC Studios' first LGBTQ-led podcast? 
Geraldine, what is it? Nancy. Yes! Oh, oh my God. Three. Three. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> this is a horror show. We're going to keep moving. Which of the following is not the nickname for a cruising location in Central Park? Vaseline Alley, Bitches Walk, Mustache Meadow, or the Fruited Plain? Not. <laughs> Come on, you know this, Geraldine. Oh. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, mustache Meadow. You're saying that Mustache Meadow is not, not the nickname for a cr- Oh, you're right. Oh. oh. <laughs> Brian, ladies and gentlemen, all right. It's three to one, it's three to one. This is going well, this is going well. Uh, Okay, next question. What East Village bar was the site of RuPaul's first New York City drag show in 1982? Brian? Pyramid? Yes! Yes! The Pyramid Club! Yes! You guys know all the answers to these questions. Why didn't you volunteer? Uh, you got you. So it's three to two. This is three good. It's two. getting three tight. Here we go. In 1939, New York City did a sweeping shutdown of many gay bars in preparation for what event? And it's not Lady Bunny's birthday. Shade. The New York City World's Fair. Yeah. Fuck! It's tied. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Geraldine, you did so good. And then what happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so take take her by the hand, hold her on. All right, here we go. We're gonna. This is our tiebreaker. This is it. This is this gets you to the next round. By the way, this isn't the end of the game. The first openly trans woman to originate a principal role in Broadway is Drag Race contestant. Which one? Gay we for win! <laughs> Thank you so much. A big hand for gay ally, Geraldine, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Brian, congratulations, you won the first round. This, uh, there is more, and the second round... <laughs> you don't get to leave. You're this is like an this? escape room. I know, I know. <laughs> Call back. Okay. I'm schwitzing like a chaza. Nobody wants to stand more than I do. Listen, where, is the, where are the props for the second round? Oh, there they are, yes. It's, it's, it's Daddy's Unicorn Ring. Yeah, it's sports, Brian, I'm sorry. This is where the gay people lose. All right. So your job is to get as many of those rings on Daddy's horn as Ooh. you possibly can. Wait, I, I, think, I think I need to take off my jacket for this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, please do. It's getting warm up here. Woo, well, keep playing. Don't stop playing. There we go. <laughs> what what role are you in this? Are you the the bottom or the top or? <laughs> but you're. Yeah. That's really retrograde and sexist, <laughs> and I reject those terms. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Fix my fucking horn. No, you have to you have to lift up. <laughs> that yes, yes. Perfect. All right. So Brian, is my horn facing up? Yes. Okay, good. Then you have four chances to get a ring around this horn. If you do that, you will win, guess what, a fucking NYC tote bag. So, <laughs> <laughs> you, this is your line. Get excited. Uh, drum roll, please. Here we go. I'm a unicorn, damn it. I'm not easy. <laughs> Slower. Oh! It was really close. It was, it was really close? close? I can't see a thing, thank God. I'm so glad my mother is dead. Go! <laughs> oh! Why am I on it? Put a ring on it. I don't like this. <laughs> ah! Holy 
shit, Brian. <laughs> okay, we don't need to do any more of that. Brian, from, oh look, here are your tote bags. Wow. And then do give one to Geraldine for her remarkable work on the show. Here she is. Oh, yeah, all right. We are gonna take a little break, ladies and gentlemen. I know I've earned one. Uh, please enjoy the dulcet tones of Mr. Cody Owen Stein and the 44 Charltones. And while you're taking a break, ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you to please get on your phones, take a photo, send a tweet, do an Instagram, whatever that stuff is you kids are doing, and let the world know that 44 Charlton is here at the Green Space every first Friday of the month, and we need your help to keep the show going. Thank you so much. That's not a joke. Happy Pride. Come back in five minutes.
The 44 Charltones, ladies and gentlemen, aren't they delightful? They're kind of gay. I like that part. I do. Uh, it's, it's not easy to put together a gay band in this town, ladies and gentlemen. There are, and you've been very helpful, you gay dude, you. Uh, thanks so much for coming back after that little break. Our final act of the evening, uh, we're all very excited to introduce to you, um, as you will see uh, uh, momentarily. She is a MC and a rapper from Oakland, California. What you know what that means? She's in New York now, so she's one of us. One of us, one of us, one of us, one of us. Her third album, The Tree... <laughs> I, wasn't, I didn't say your name yet. Go back behind that door. Let's roll it back a little bit. One of us, one of us, one of us. Her third album, The Tree Act, is available now on Spotify and Tidal. She loves grilled cheese sandwiches and is a connoisseur of trees. Ladies and gentlemen, Nappy Nina! Yeah, sorry about that early uh, entrance. But let's get into it. Nothing like ending a variety show with rap, you know what I'm saying? Turn the beat up a little bit. How y'all feeling? Okay. Got a feeling that I might not make it Test me again and, and I, I might not fake it Staring at me foul cause I'm so damn flagrant Belong to no spaces, Victoria's vagrant I just got a feeling that I might not make it Test me again and I might not fake it Staring at me foul cause I'm so damn flagrant Belong to no spaces, Victoria's vagrant Want my agent? I'm aging rather quick The sand that I stand in is capturing kids I'm just trying to get captured by the captain of gigs I be looking at the game like this shit gotta be rigged All I want is a crib that I can carry to the ferry Float away in the wake of the world getting so scary These cops hitting hard like they bonds are getting buried Conspiracists think they paid by cemeteries In the battle box with tattered socks Reach for Glock and tell the taste Creep my block and steady haze 40 for ace uh. At this rate the bone rip or the thong still gonna get me uh -huh. Not before the summer these saints is gonna be a friend of me You feeling me? You heard you herbs? Have your curb I'm in my house with my neighbors tell me turn that shit down Cause it's always so loud what? I be picturing crowds what? And you are what you see I, I just got a feeling that I might not make it Test me again and I might not fake it Staring at me foul cause I'm so damn flagrant 
belong to no spaces, victorious vagrant I just got a feeling that I might not make it Test me again and I might not fake it Staring at me foul cause I'm so damn flagrant Belong to no spaces, victorious vagrant It's hard when the hustle don't really show up in muscle My tussle score was 10 to 1, one was to the government They was calling my name, I figured I would run a bit Cause the coin in my pocket ain't the sum of it some sons I know who ran be chillin' in better lands yeah. The land I left was best, it was time to invest in vessels On my ground like a pesto Two primers on into pesto, foot to pedal like the petrol I'm going somewhere, surely these stipends They surely show me I'm worthy of someone's glory Turn your light on mm-hmm. Can't see shit in the dark, I know I'm counting right wrong, my vice strong Dark like getting fine women, find the divine in them Try to define symptoms, lately feeling so woozy Really nothing can woo me, Woo-hoo. let me like me this doobie Hey, what? check what? I just got a feeling that I might not make it Test me again and I might not fake it Staring at me foul cause I'm so damn flagrant Belong to no spaces, victorious vagrant I just got a feeling that I might not make it Test me again and I might not fake it Staring at me foul cause I'm so damn flagrant Belong to no spaces, victorious vagrant Yes Yo, give it up to 1245 real quick Yo, so I can't hear myself well, but you guys can hear me, right? Yeah. Okay. I know it's a weird position to be in. Rap show. Sitting down. Don't know how to act. <laughs> right? It's fine. It's fine. I fuck with this energy. I fuck with this sitting down energy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is where I'm at. So, we got a few more songs. Let's just keep it real comfortable. You ain't got to do much. Head nods, those are cool. Other than that, I don't really expect more. Let's go. And trees, how we love them. You turn the beat up a little bit. Check. Ah. I was sitting on my window, puffing on that endo. Can't quite find the tempo, cause my tempo been driving a block. Trying to figure if I'm hot or not. Sweating, sporting sandals and socks. Light a candle for pop, cause our paper coming soon. It'll pay off as a layoff away from some new rooms. We only play our tunes. I wanna do better, be better. Pretend I never let her break down these barriers. Confidence can't take care of you. Not the Bay of Areas. I laugh at new math, like, how y'all do that? Compute facts. To these new hacks, I'm a little bit of babysitter Couldn't raise a baby sister My baby brother, full-hearted lover, gotta love him yeah. The heartbreak, why faithful, is hardest to shake though I shake at car tables, pull ranking hard fables Ain't nobody worried about me, especially these labels. labels I probably should get gone soon, wrong too Probably should get gone soon Whose room have I ruined my own? Takes a lot more than half the rent to make, make a, a home. home I've been a dollar short and owe a quarter million loans Last time I called Tyrone, he was needing me Legally, what? call and collect like it was feasible be He's like that seasonally, I need a reason to leave Cause I was sitting on that window, puffing on that endo Trying to find my tempo, but my tempo been driving the block Trying to figure if I'm hot or not Sweating, sporting sandals and socks Light a candle for pops, cause I pay but coming soon And the payoff is a layoff away from some new rooms Well they only play our tunes, yes Yo, how y'all feeling? Yo, tell your moms about me, I do really good with moms Tell them Tell them you saw Nappy Nina, I'm telling you They will fuck with it, I trust me You looking for something to connect with your mom about? I'm it Alright? Alright? I got two more short songs so, uh, here, bear with me. <laughs> this is like a real hip hop song. Like, imagine you're at like a real hip hop show, you know what I'm saying? All right. Check. Hey, ho! Where did they go? Is that a dagger? Offensive swagger? Am I a danger? I sure know I'm the range cause the rain cuts and I ain't got no dang coat. West Coast. Hey ho, where did they go? Is that a dagger? 
Open to swagger. Am I a danger? I sure know I'm the range, cause the rain cuts. And I ain't got no dang coat. West, West Coast, Coast is dangling me. Selling sugar for free. I'm sweet. These sheets ain't been washed for weeks. It's cause uh-huh. my watches is weak. And it's time really colossal. Colossals of Costco. Walking dead as these fossils. Searching falls against the flagrant earth. Let me check my fragrance first. For all of my neighbors, curse you too loud. Now, nigga, I'm too proud. Been barely breathing before. But now I'm too clown. In my goose down. Who really up from the rails of trains who fail to really from coerced by my voice But don't like how this face look I'm only fighting fights on nights when flights don't seem safer I check the safe to see if I made the paper I made up I'm anxious, I ain't shit Hey ho, where did they go? Is that a dagger? Offensive swagger? Am I a danger? I sure know I'm the range cause the rain cuts And I ain't got no dang coat West Coast Hey ho where did they go? Is that a dagger? Offensive swagger? Am I a danger? I shall sure know I'm the range cause the rain cuts and I ain't got no dang coat. What's to my bodega, man? Thanks for all them bagels, fam, and selling them seven dollar stoves. To my shorty who clothed in them thrift store robes. Who don't make me wrong, far from home, rest ahead in beds next to my own. Which really next to thrones, I picture nice ends. Guarded by knights with knife, rocking some knights, yeah. throwing rocks in the fight. Cause they pop away stone. I used to bust the boss into my brother's crib to bust mics. Now I'm stuck under the spot of light. Trying, trying to make, make it right, trying, trying to make, make it right. right. Hey, one more time. Hey ho, where did they go? Is that a dagger? Uh, offensive offensive swagger. swagger? Am I a danger? I sure know I'm the range cuz the rain cuts. And I ain't got no dang coat. What's cuts? Nappy Dina! Hello, hello! Hello! How are you? <laughs> I am in love with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tell me, what is it like for you? to play for a room full of middle-aged white sustaining members. <laughs> you know what? To be honest, it happens more often than not. Really? <laughs> because you are a showbiz professional. I have, to, I have to honor you for your extraordinary, you know, grit. You have seen this set through. Yeah. And I actually think these... I, do? I, I don't know. Well, I want to I wanna assure you these people love you. It's all right. I right? love them too. Right? <laughs> No, trust me, I'm not. I'm not mad about the no right. The, the seated energy. I, I really <laughs> fuck with that. That's my yeah. I know. Shit. <laughs> I know. It's it's filling my heart with love, and you know uh, they just don't know what to do. That's yeah, it's all. fine. It's fine. And they. When's the last time y'all went to hip hop? I mean, I'm not trying to you know what I'm saying assume anything, but some people in here haven't been to a hip hop show in ages. So, you know what I'm saying? Who here has been? Look, honestly, raise your little white hands. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me who was at the when who was at a fucking hip hop show? See what I'm saying? They don't yeah, understand. It's all right. They're at one now though. Yeah. And where can this audience find you next? You can find me anywhere. Specifically, Instagram is best, I think. My name is Nappy underscore Nina. My Twitter is shit, so please don't follow me there. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that's true. I couldn't even find you. <laughs> Straight <on> up. <laughs> I tried to promote you on Twitter, you know, I was like, it's not happening. Twitter's hard for me. But you've All got the some shows sh- coming up, right? Yeah, I do. I have a show next week at Bam Cafe in Brooklyn. Okay. You guys should come. It's on next Friday. You know, a week from today, seven days. Oh, uh, shit. Right, right, right. oh thank you. I couldn't. And, uh, my knees are broke. I'm so also thank playing you. outside of Barclays on the 25th. First. First. <laughs> Speaking of which, why Shout don't you out to my DJ. Your, your friend? Uh, tell us a little about your DJ. Ah, uh, this is my amazing DJ, twelve forty-five. <laughs> she's the best. She's the best. Like, she is the best. She's lovely. Uh, We've had a good time in the dressing room. Yeah, you have to admit. We have. We have put away a bottle of bourbon. Yeah, I think that was just us. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I got a little bit of it, but thank you so much for, for, for being with us here this evening. So you're at BAM Cafe on 614. Yes. You're outside of Barclays on 621. One. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's like rapping, 620. Oh, one more thing. I have one. an album. 620. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, yes, that's right. You have a beautiful album. I have this record here, The Tree Act. The Tree Act. Uh, yeah, it's Don't also wave for it sale. Too much. Their, their, their vision is bad. So. My bad, my bad. <laughs> the Tree Act. <laughs> Holler at me after the show if you want to, you know, 
It's on Choir vinyl. It's a beautiful thing. And she, she uh, you, you have brilliantly co-opted the uh, Deutsche Grammophon yes. uh, logo, which I love. There's some classical music nerds in the house. <laughs> Check it out. Sadly, they're all straight. <laughs> Don't be fooled by the stash. That is some... That is some... <laughs> I'm not having that. I'm going to shave that thing off you myself. All right. So the, here's the tree act. This yes. is Nappy. Nina, we are so grateful that you're here. Thank you. Will you do one more song for one us? One more. A short one. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're the thank best. Thank you so much. You're the best. <laughs> Yes. Ah, check. Just for that mid afternoon that you got stuck in your room. And you trying to find some luck but stop the buck too soon. And you trying to couple up but the double up seems doomed. Then you can't seem swoon. So you swear to the moon. Supposed to be gone to November. But it's already June. It's not like you didn't know she was a chick with a broom. Uh, approach in the back. What? Approach bunnies in the hats. What? Turn tricks all day. But it wasn't like that. It wasn't right black, I always been blue It's true when I tell you anything you can do But stay tuned to these tunes that I be writing for truths yeah. Writing for moves when I can't move, I guess I snooze till I lose I, I guess, guess I'll take a cat nap Don't know if I'll be back black Hey, They trying to find my nap mat I left it by the rap track, just another rap track I guess I'll take a cat nap yeah. Don't know if I'll be back black They uh. trying to find my nap mat I left it by the rap tracks, just another rap track. Yeah. Yo, Give thank you so much for having me, y'all. Give it up. Let's go. Nappy Nina, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Stick around, because we're going to do a little sing-along to end the show. That is the 44 Charlton Gay Pride Show, ladies and gentlemen. For all my gay brothers and sisters and everybody in between, for all our straight allies and everybody in between, I'm so grateful that you spent this time with us. You know how we like to end the show, right? With a sing-along. So come on up the stage. And all you people back there in that booth, get on out here. Come on out. We want everybody. Come on, Erica. It's okay. Hold my hand. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of you. So we thought long and hard. Come on. Come on, Bowen. Don't be shy. Come on, Queen. Come on, Queen. Bo and Yang. Mike Hoppens. My assistant. My assistant, Zach. He says he's straight, but I don't know. What do you think? Here's our producer, Sachi. Look at that beautiful creature. She's so beautiful. She got us Bo and Yang. Thank you so much. And thank you to Cameron Tompkins. Tamara, come on up. Oh, you got to run the slides. All right. So we worked hard to think of what would be a great sing-along for gay pride. What is the anthem that we all require to get through the next year and a half? What is it, ladies and gentlemen? I want you to get up off your asses right now. Stand up. Stand up. At first I was afraid. I was petrified Kept thinking I could never live without They don't need the words uh, I'll lead them <laughs> I don't even know how you did me wrong And I grew strong And I learned how to get along Take your neighbor's hand now and so you're back from out that sad look upon your face i should have changed that stupid lock i should have i can't hear you walk out the door just turn around now you're not I crumble, lay down and die. Oh no, not I. I will survive as long as I know how to love. I know how to stay alive. Got 
all my love to give. I got all my love to give. I will survive. They're on the way to survive. Let me thank the good people who make this show possible. Eileen Dillahunte, Jennifer Sendro, Sachi Azura, Cam Tompkins, Ricardo Fernandez, Gaines Laguerre, Chase Copan, wave to the people, Chase, thank you. Utsuki Oska, Milton Ruiz, where's Milton? I don't know. Johnny Brown and Denise Lovelace Reyes. Here we go. It took all the strength I had not to fall. together we're gonna make a big ending together we're gonna do this together even you <laughs> I will survive no we're not done 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 I will survive Take a big, deep, <laughs> cleansing breath. Bring all the air into your mouth and down the back of your throat and into your gullet and expand your diaphragm. We're gonna sing one really big, one really loud, one really long, gay note. Are you ready? Yeah. Three. Yeah! Happy Gay Pride, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Julia Fleischer. This is 44 Charleston. Cody Owenstein, we'll see you next year.